I think I'm too far gone. <laughs> so. I think we should um maybe enough, give her enough. Yeah. Give her this girl another drink. I'm scared yeah. of <laughs> Regardless of what you say in the show, drink responsibly, yeah? I'm telling you more. And I'm gonna let you know who Sarah Mary Seacole was. She was a fing G, bruv. And you know what I don't like? Is that she was underrated. When really she deserved all the fing praise going. She's like half British, half Jamaican. Born and raised in Jamaica. Her father was Scottish, so she grew up around men who were who wore skirts. She was out there in the 1800s. Helping and healing people. You say we're going back 200 years. We're going crazy. back, bro. Oh, okay. Big. Like back, like you know, like some man's hairlines. We're going yeah. back. Yeah, I've been there. You know, when you want to meet the neck. Yeah, we're yeah, going yeah. Back. Say no more. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> cool. 1800s, Mary Seacole. So she was in Jamaica. She just was interested in anything medical. She's obsessed by medicine. Then there was the cholera epidemic and the yellow fever, and she was like, you know what? I'm going to help them. And then across the seas, man then was like, yo, there's a war happening. It's gonna be a mad thing. It was like a rave. It's the Crimea War, where the British and their brethren were fighting the Russians. So we came to the UK. So she comes over and she's like, yo, my G, I wanna kinda like help you. And he's like, do you know what? I'm not really on it. Because Britain was systematically a little bit racist. It was. But anyway. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then. <laughs> and she's like, yo, my G, what's going on? And he's like, no, it's not you. And she was like, yo, I want to get involved. And they were like, nah, bruv. And she was like, but yeah, bruv, I'm on this thing. And they were like, nah, bruv. And she was like, nah, but yeah, bruv. And they were like, nah, bruv. So she was like, do you know what? You don't get it. She didn't want to really force the issue. And I've had a drink. I know it sounds maybe a little bit nuts, but I'm very passionate about Mary Seacole. No. Because I'm, 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 I'm big on the underdog. She came over with one mission and she wasn't letting no one stop it. She went away and built her own hotel. It was like a hospital hotel. She was like the NHS in Turkey. She was out there healing people helping people. Listen, she's a G. Bruv! Okay. It's Mary. Mary don't play, man. There's something about Mary. This, this. <laughs> yeah. I see you. Mary was like, do you know what? Whoever needs help can come here and get help. The man then were like, yeah, but what can you do? And she was like, watch me. So she set up her own situation like about a mile away, if that, yeah? Right she wanted to be line. close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She wanted to be on the front line because she knew those were the people that needed her the most. Her passion is to help. So she don't care about herself. Mary said, F this. I don't care what happens to me. Me, a whole me from Jamaica. My dad wears skirts. Because she was out here doing her thing, people heard about her through like in the 1800s, their Instagram, innit? It was called Pigeon. Okay, so that's a, there was a note on pigeon legs going around about... Pigeons were going around. Okay, say no more. Being like, cuckoo. Mm. Have you heard about Mary? Cuckoo. Pigeon viral. Okay, cool. She was making history. So around the time when Mary's doing this, that was around the time when Florence Nightingale was about, right? Florence, as buff as she is, isn't the thing. There's a thing outside with her own set up and she's helping these people who we're ignoring. Mary was like, do you know what? It's not about the fame. It's about completing the job. Mm -hmm. Florence was a hater. Florence was like, if you book Mrs. Seacole, you're gonna get drunkenness and, and disorderliness. Awesome. You're gonna get drunkenness and nonchalantness. You're gonna get drunkenness and madness. Douche buggery. What does that mean? No one knows. <laughs> Bruv. Men are time to say douche buggery. Men are, men are dying in the wars. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. That's a long word, you know? Mary said, I don't mind what Florence is saying. I understand that she might be intimidated and a little bit scared because white women are not loose to black women coming over and doing her thing. Mm. But Florence was more popular, she was more well known. Of course she was, because she was white. Okay. Yeah? And back then, if you were white, it was right. So Mary was really getting down, like in the dirty, in the grits, like getting the job done. You say Mary was on the front line? Mary was more than on the front line, Mary was the front line. 
No, no, she sounds like it. I need to go to the toilet. Do you know what's mad? So she's in the hospital. Some of them are saying, do you know what, sir? We're going to get you a doctor. And then Mary would have come in. And then it would have been like, I thought you were getting me a doctor. And she would have been like, bruv, I'm your doctor. Calm the f down. And they'd be like, yeah, but like, I don't want my doctor to be colored of any kind of color that's not white. And she'd be like, bruv, you're gonna die or you're gonna live. You're gonna die if I'm not here. You're gonna live if I am here, innit? What do you want? Furthermore, who cares what you want? What does your mum want? And they were like, oh my God, I wants me to live. And she'd be like, well then bruv, shut your mouth. Let me help you, innit? Regardless of my skin tone, I'm here to help you. And he'll be like, oh my God, help me, and I'll be racist later. And she'll be like, but shut your mouth now, innit? Shut up, bruv. Man's from ends, I'm here to help you. I know what, go on. Yeah, 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 that's a hero right there. She's like a mixed race Jesus. Yeah, yeah, okay. I didn't, I didn't say that, but I'm, <laughs> I'm, I heard that though. But yeah, okay, so let's, let's go more, so cool. <laughs> so basically, she was like a big thing, but no one wants to highlight a lady who's mixed race, of mixed heritage, whose dad wears a skirt and his mom's black. Without Mary, there wouldn't be other black nurses and midwives, the people that we turn to nowadays. Yo, I feel educated, you know. I didn't even know about her, but now I feel like I know her, man. So, big you up for bigging up Mary and making me know about her. Thanks, babe. Call me, innit? <laughs> <laughs>